Let's jump right into it. What's up guys? Back with another video for the How to Weld. Uh, today we're going to be going over filler rods, sizes, uh, different types. Uh, this isn't going to be specifically for stainless steel. We're going to have some aluminum, some titanium, mild steel, uh, and a couple different grades of uh, stainless in here for you. So let's get started. All right, so you guys can see here I've got a few different rods laid out. Um, some of these are the same. Over here we've got aluminum rods. Uh, here's a mild steel rod. Uh, we've got stainless rods, uh, stainless for 304 right here. Uh, this rod is for 321. This rod here is for welding mild to stainless. And this rod here is titanium. So we'll go into uh, sizes first. And I'll tell you about the different sizes, when to choose each size, and after that um, we'll go into the grades and all of that and tell you what each rod is for a little more in depth. So the most common sizes that I use, um, starting off here we've got 045. This rod is, you can see right there, 0.045. And this is a rod that I use for, um, or this is the size that I use for exhaust pipe. Uh, please don't mind. There are chickens in my basement. Uh, well, it's a basement level barn kind of thing. But yeah, just uh, disregard them. So, got 045 here. That's about the smallest size. I think there's some 030 and... Uh, Maybe something even smaller than that, but this is the smallest one I've ever needed. I use this on 16 gauge um, stainless pipe. Then we jump up a size and we have 16th. Sixteenth. Next size up. We've got... 332 and then you go even bigger I don't use uh, eighth inch stainless rods hardly at all but this is an eighth inch aluminum rod and you can see that thing is pretty big um, so the basic rules for choosing what size to use um, for stainless, I have always been told, and I have always gone by this, and it's worked very well, that whatever the thickness of your metal is, the metal that you're welding on, for stainless, you take the thickness of your metal, and one size smaller is the filler rod that you want. For example, uh, exhaust pipe is um, 0.065 or 0.0625, so we will go with a 0 0.045 rod, an 045 rod. So that is one size below 0 0.625 or 0 0.065, uh, depending on uh, what company you're buying from and what they say it is. Um, so for exhaust pipe, 045 is the way to go. Um, then we've got 16th. Um, that I like to use, you know, if I've got a gap in some thin metal, if uh, sometimes if you're welding on a flange that's a little thicker to exhaust pipe. Um, then we've got, you go up a size to 332 right here, which I, I don't really use the 332 um, ever, but you get something, you know, a little thicker in. Uh, that, you know, just needs a repair, something like that, it's good to have. Um, 
So, yeah, for stainless steel, you want to stick to the rule. One size smaller filler than your material. Um, now, if we jump over to aluminum, aluminum likes a little bit more filler. So, the rule that I use with aluminum is whatever the thickness of your metal is, you want to go, you want to either try to match that with your filler or go one size bigger. So, for um, example, if you're welding 16 gauge or again 625.0625, um, like intercooler piping, uh, you would want to go with uh, probably a 16th rod, which is right about the same, or with a 332, which is one size bigger. Um, I sometimes use either one. Uh, this, the 16th is like just barely too small. Uh, I find where it feels like you're not getting quite enough in there, but the, uh, the 332 is like not too big, but you got to just be careful. You're not, uh, really gobbing it in there. You got to be quick with it. Um, and then eighth, you know, really thick stuff. And I'm sure people even get, uh, heavier than eighth, but for the thin stuff that I'm mostly doing, uh, eighth is all I've ever needed. Uh, when I welded in my, uh, f the floors into my aluminum service box, uh, I used the eighth to, uh, get a lot of filler in there because aluminum loves filler. Now, if we jump over here to titanium, this rod, I believe is 0 0.039, really small, because titanium is like the opposite of aluminum. It doesn't need much filler. So this 0 0.039 is all I use. So there you got your sizes. Um, you know, 0 0.039 for titanium, at least for exhaust pipe, is all I use. Um, then you got 045, 16th. 332 and 8th to choose from with stainless one size smaller than your material thickness with aluminum match the thickness or go one size thicker um and you should with that with those rules be able to pretty much figure out what size you need for any job all right now let's get into different grades for this titanium rod uh i believe it is cp1 or cp2 um, I get it off of Stainless Bros, or, or sorry, Tycon Industries, um, and that's, there's not much variation in grade for a titanium rod, uh, at least not that I've had to deal with. Then here, I've got 309, this is 309L, um, this is a good rod for welding stainless to mild actually so it's got whatever's in it makes it so that you can weld stainless to mild which you couldn't do very well uh with 308 or 347 so 309 is a great one to have in the shop i only have these in 332 um, because typically when i'm welding stainless to mild it's something heavier I haven't yet had something real thin, but, uh, yeah, so 309 is a great one to have. Um, after that here, I've got, let's start with this one. I've got 308. This is actually 308 LSI. If you can see that, I don't think you can, but yeah. So this is 308 LSI, which is pretty much the same as 308L. It's just got some other things in it to make it a little better, uh, flows a little better, uh, comes out a little bit cleaner than 308L. Not a huge difference, but I like it. Um, so 308, not 304, 308 
is what you're going to use to weld 304 stainless. Um, so any of your exhaust pipe that's 304, which is most of it, you're going to be welding with 308 uh, rod. And all of these three are 308 rods. Um, now if we jump over here, you can see this rod kind of see it. it says 347 er 347 now this rod is for 321 stainless um which is a separate grade of stainless from 304 that has i believe it has titanium in it um so it can handle a bit more heat uh and it's good for things like uh, exhaust manifolds and anything that's going to get really hot. Uh, I know they use them on uh, F1 cars. So they, they hold the heat in, which uh, the 321 stainless steel, I mean, holds the heat in and uh, is good for turbo manifolds because you want to get all that heat to the turbo wheel the exhaust wheel to uh, spin that turbo. But yeah, so 347 for 321 stainless, which is a little weird, um, but they don't seem to match the rod. Like it's not 304 to weld 304 and 321 to weld 321. You need 308 for 304 and 347 for 321. Um, then we move on here. Rod I don't use much. The only copper looking one. This is ER70S2. Which is just for welding mild steel. Um, don't use that often, but when I do need to weld something with mild steel, I think for pretty much everyone, ER70S2 is the go-to. Um, then for uh aluminum here the only rods i currently have are 4043 um there are a couple of other uh grades that maybe have a little higher strength uh some slightly different properties i think uh 5356 is one of them and there's a couple others out there but the only one i ever use uh at least the only one i have used Thus far is 4043, which is, I'm pretty sure would work on any aluminum. It's just uh, for str some strength applications and stuff like that. They like to use a uh, different filler rod style. So, you guys have seen, we've got CP1 or CP2 rod for titanium. Um, we've got the 309 for welding stainless to mild. We've got the 347 for welding 321 stainless steel. We've got the 308 for welding 304 stainless. ER70S2 for mild steel. 4043 and some others for welding aluminum. Um, and that's about all I have for you. It's a pretty quick thing. Pretty simple. Not too complicated gets a little confusing with the uh stainless rods which rod goes to which metal but uh pretty simple to figure out uh, if you guys learned something like subscribe uh give it a share help your buddies learn and uh thanks for watching